is up everybody okay so we're gonna learn how to make a metahuman in unreal 5.6 so when you open that up you know i've just opened up a normal project uh everything good everything good everything good but when i try and make a metahuman uh which is now inside here uh i can't okay there's nothing here and there's no metahuman folder so what you got to do is you gotta go into your edit plugins and just load, look up MetaHuman, uh, MetaHu, MetaHuman Animator, MetaHuman, sure, of course, uh -huh. Creator, sure, why not? I'm not gonna, whatever now, MetaHuman Creator, there's a MetaHuman Creator. I'm just gonna turn literally here, yeah, 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 it's fine. And MetaHuman Runtime, I don't know, just just put them all on, I don't know, look, look to what you wanna, no and then uh restart okay once that's done you can just close that up it started again and you should see uh oh, there's characters mannequins if there's no folder just go to your content and just put in metahumans okay uh, make a new folder call them metahumans metahumans and go inside there and right click and now you should get metahuman right once you do that you can say metahuman character and click on that. Call it uh, metahuman um, and call it Bob or something, whatever you want. Once you've done that, you can just wait for it to uh, come here, double click it and wait for the editor. Right, once you got the editor, that is pretty cool. Now you can select a preset. You can just double click and you'll get a preset <laughs> and you get some amazing presets man look at this this is awesome so there's a whole lot of new characters here now you can see you can just double click them and get whatever and then you can say apply the preset okay um if you apply the preset then obviously it'll uh, you can go from there uh and here's another preset these are really cool characters, man. So you can go, you can double click on any, any of them, or you can just say apply preset, right? Once you've got that, you can go to uh, your body and your body, you can start, once again, you can select different bodies and you can do uh, whatever you want. And that circle is kind of represented of this circle. The more I go here or here or whatever, the more I start going into this body, this body, this body. And then in the middle over here, it's gonna be neutral, okay? And this should do it for both uh, both sides. Yes, yeah, there we go. So you can see here, it's working. And that's because I've got uh, both. You can do it just to one leg or two legs or whatever you want, which is quite cool. Now this is the new way of bringing in your FBXs. So for the first time, everybody always used to ask me, hey, uh how do you get the body of a das character well that's this now you can import your fbx's and whatever you want uh, i'll do another tutorial on this and you can import your meshes and you can uh make your das characters uh, better humans are your das characters which is amazing then you get to modeling and there's a lot of uh there's a lot of stuff here isn't it it's pretty damn amazing actually wow so you got lower torso. Oh, this is the, wow. Okay, this is the body. So you, you got your waist and you've got control, which is pretty cool. The one thing that sucks is that every time you do one thing, it it conforms, has to conform to the, the whatever, the, the clothes. So you can go, you can go a little crazier. Look, I'm gonna stop there because every time you move something, it has to update the mesh, which kind of sucks. Then you get onto the head uh and same thing over here you got on blend you can chuck in three blends and you can you can start modeling to whatever you want this is a lot faster because it's not conforming to any clothes uh and i've noticed even if i put the clothes off if i hide them it's the same it still has to conform to the clothes so you're not not saving anything there you can hide the groom as well hidden visible hidden there we go and then you can start uh, manipulating your character conform once again bring in your fbx's and stuff i'll go over this in another tutorial transform and you can start uh let's see what is this 
you can start okay 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 you can start creating some crazy figures huh wow let's make let's make Adi Adi looks like Adi looks something like like this there we go Adi and his eyebrows are there we go there's Adi and these are more there's Adi my god I knew it I knew he was there somewhere uh, Margaret put on your clothes nobody wants to see that ya wee bastard it looks like puke puke all right so there we go we've made Adi it's a perfect replica actually you can do whatever you want sizes all these kind of things and then you can sculpt and sculpt is it's it's kind of like the one before but you get a, a hell of a lot more points and a hell of a lot more details which is pretty cool so you can go in and you can you can really make Adi. Jeez, this is like this is like a one on one for Adi. Eh? Look at him. There's Adi. Adi's a bastard, by the way. If you don't know what Adi is, Adi's a bastard. Uh, and then you get your teeth and everything, which is pretty cool. Um, you get your eyelashes. You get your teeth. It's crazy. And you get your materials, then you can start creating like your materials and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, all the all, all the stuff from the, the the stuff before your roughnesses, your freckles on your face, uh, these little things, which are pretty cool. So these are making things like red and redness saturation. There we go. Sorry, this uh, that needs to be more in your head uh, over here. But you've got sculpting and stuff to do that now, and so they've taken that out of the old one. And over here, you've got freckles, you got redness of the face, and you can override the textures with your own textures if you make your own textures. Hair, once again, you can just add your hair in, uh, your eyelashes, your beards, all that kind of cool stuff. Wow, that's quite cool. And then you can assemble it. Now, when you go to assemble, it will tell you that the character is not rigged. All you got to do is you got to go up here and create full rig. Bam. Okay. It may ask you to sign in or anything. Um, and it also might say enable missing on the right hand corner. Just say yes, enable everything and uh, just let it go. Okay, once that's done, it'll say that there's missing textures. Just before we get onto that, it says over here, don't forget, you can choose what you want. I took uh, Unreal Optimized and I took High. Or you can take cinematic, complete, uh, UEFN, -E whatever, and DCC export. You can give it a name. You can tell it where to go. Leave it in your MetaHuman folder. Uh, uh, so you can choose what MetaHuman you want, right? After that, you can... Uh, oh, here's hidden. But it doesn't matter. I don't think there's anything. Okay, visible and visible clothing. Let's take the clothing. Yeah, okay, hidden. Uh, and then I'll tell you textures are missing. You just got to click here. Bam. Can download 2k 4k 8k i'm just going to do 2k for now and that'll download all that kind of stuff give it some time it takes a while and honestly that should be it if i go into my uh where is it you can hit assemble uh now it it wasn't there before what i did was i just clicked off of it go back and then you can hit assemble now, the one thing I noticed was uh, that, and this could be a glitch, but when I said assemble and the name was Bob, the same as the uh, whatever we made, this thing, uh, it didn't assemble. I couldn't hit the assemble button. So once I changed it to Bobby, I could assemble it, and everything seems like it's there. I don't know. Content, metahumans, image, Bobby, bring it in and we have our character okay so that's pretty damn cool and that is how you make a metahuman in 5.6 i hope this helps and we'll get into a lot more detail with these uh have a great weekend and see you later bye guys